bond with their children in a different way. This is why you need parents of both sexes uh, and not simply uh, two parents of the, of the same sex. Uh, and this... So you're not comfortable with the notion that two women could parent well, a child I'm just, as well? Well, I'm just saying what the role of fathers is. That is okay, the question. Sure. Right. Fathers, excuse me, fathers relate uh, to their children in a different way from their mothers. This is important for the development of the child. All the studies uh, show us this. And then, of course, that is also the case with role modeling. I mean, of course, not stereotypical ones, uh, but uh, the way in which fathers model uh, for boys, particularly, has been shown to be important. And indeed, uh, where boys do not have a father figure, in the home, that role modeling becomes necessary in the school or whatever. There's a wonderful, wide-ranging study being done uh, in Washington, D.C., which has shown the importance of fathers also as role models. So there is, uh, fathers are important because children need to know their complete genetic inheritance. That's the first thing. Secondly, they're important because they relate to children in a different way from their mothers. And thirdly, they are important as role models. Oh, okay. but could I add, uh, and there, can I just talk, take issue with this research? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. have to say, this is my field. Now, absolutely, well, be, fathers, <laughs> fathers behave in very different ways. And also, it, you, we, for example, in this country, we have fathers tend to joke around, right? Be very jokey. And that's a particular way of relating to children, which can be very, very productive. However, this is not found among Swedish fathers, and it is not found among the wonderful Akar pygmies, where the father is well, within... This is, this is the is sort of Margaret Mead no, anthropology, I'm afraid. It's truly important. This is Margaret Mead anthropology uh, of remote people of whom no, we can know nothing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What, 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 one singer, one song. The Swedes are not remote people. Well, huh. What we're saying is that fatherhood is responsive to circumstances. Yeah. And in many families, you're quite right, the fathers do behave differently from mothers, say, in our culture, but, but that's responsive to circumstances. So if fathers take on primary care of children, they tend to joke around less and to behave in ways that are very similar to mothers. It's a care issue, not a gender yes, issue. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about behaviour. I'm, I'm not talking about behaviour. Hang on, Kelvin, there's, there's do you think men can be the primary carer that Adrian says? That it's a yeah, cultural look, I, I have seen a massive change in my lifetime. So, Take me, I had three children, right, and I was what would be today called an old-fashioned, quotes, poor father, i.e. going out to work, bringing home the bacon, you know, the, the, the missus at home, right? Today, I see my sons operating in a wholly different manner. They've got five children between them, and although uh, they have long hours and all the rest of it, they commit themselves to trying to have an equal position alongside their wives in the raising of the children in a manner that I never did. I find it fantastic and liberating and interesting to see it, and I wish to God I could have done it myself. Oh. That's interesting. You're talking about culture. You, you have regrets about yeah, that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. When I see that the way um, that I could have acted and, in, in fact, chose to work completely committed to work rather than committed to the raising of my kids. Um, I, uh, I don't think my kids have suffered because actually the mother was so good at it, but I definitely feel that, that actually looking at it from purely selfish position and me position, right, I think I missed out a lot on what is in the end, the only thing we actually leave behind of any this value, really frankly. Yeah. As well, because it's about to be changes. Sorry, yeah, yeah. There's about to be changes yeah. next April where men can actually get better, much better paternity rights. But the government thinks that only 6% of men are going to take that up. And I just want to make this sort of plea well, well, a good to friend say, of mine. you know... And the reason for that, for and the... I know a little bit about that, a good friend of mine uh, who, who's in his late 30s, right, he, he, he's, he's like in the broadcast business, so he works and he doesn't work. And when he, his missus works, and so he looks after the child, obviously, when his, when his wife's working. He rang me the other day. He said, this is bloody exhausting, you know, this raising children. <laughs> I, I, and, and that is the truth. It's yeah. a great... There's a lot of work involved in raising the child. But and like, I don't he, think blokes understand no. that aspect of it all. Like and actually, said, when they do it, they say, I must get back to work at 100 miles an hour. But, <laughs> but, but like you well, said, how point. much you the gain from doing it. Case, is that it is not about gender. Men can do yeah. it just as well mm, as can. women. In the early years, and increasingly, mm. I hope, we'll move towards a society in which we have much more flexible working, in which, ideally, mm. people get together 
they form a couple, there are two parents, not one, yeah. and uh, they, they divide the work between them uh, of looking after the children and not working. So are we moving to a position that and mothers and fathers are interchangeable? Well, they, the gender no, is not... I'm really interested, interested as to whether the audience... The needs of an under three are very simple and they can be met by anybody who gets into the zone. What you need is to be comfortable in your skin and in the zone and ready to be responsive, and that may mean that you need to go out to work for some of the week. OK, and, uh, let me just... What, what do you think? Do you think we should be moving to the situation where mum or dad, they're interchangeable? I, I believe that um, fathers are as important as also mothers are, but the problem, the, the problem is that for some people, some people grow, grow up without their fathers, but they can still turn out to be a, a good person. Mm. It, just, it just really depends on the situ situation, and <clears throat> we've been... With having a father, it doesn't really matter because if you've got family around you, if you've got, you know, like male role models, they could be like a father figure to you anyway. Yeah. And it is a very poor social issue, this, in that we do not start moving into territory where we're demonising, you know, family situations mm -hmm. where there isn't a father or where there's someone yes, who's grown but, up but with that. Yes, but can we also... Father. I will, but I'm just really interested in what uh, the audience and I promise to come back to it. Lady here. Can I say that um, a lot of mothers don't have the choice. They actually are bringing up children by themselves. Mm -hmm. And when they actually take the babies home, they actually don't realise at the end of the day that the child will grow up bigger than them and stronger than them. And I've actually worked in hostile situations where mothers actually come to me and say, I can't manage my son, I'm petrified of him. So fathers, good fathers are actually necessary. Yeah. Yeah, just, just a quick point. The fact that we're actually suggesting there is a male role suggests that the father has a specific role and we should accept that. More to the point, I should say, it's really good to hear about this, the, the increase in paternity rights, but I just feel that more should be done to um, create a, a society where the father's rights are upheld equally with those of a mother's. Absolutely. <laughs> are also equally upheld in the workplace because you've got a situation at the moment where women who've been in management positions before maternity leave have a 50% chance of going back into part-time work where they actually didn't even need their A-levels and it's, it's totally unfair and like you were saying a lot of the time it's really important to get your needs met as a parent so you can be a good parent lots of mothers want to be able to go back to work so both those things are an important balance a really important balance but I think I can, can we just say I agree completely with your point and I think that that's one of the dangers about Oliver's theory um, or thesis uh, that fathers uh, are not so important, that mothers are the primary care, that my mothers are the, you know, the, the focus of children's love, because that is used again and again by women who do not want the father of their children to see those children once, that, once they are separated or divorced. And I think that that's one of the most unjustified and uh, potentially psychologically harmful uh, of all the policies that is allowed to uh, take place today. And I think we need to address that issue. We need to have those fathers who want to see those children, unless, of course, you know, they're violent and there's a record of abuse, they must be allowed access to those children. To be honest, the family... Well, that, I'm afraid oh, men do not... That is, Rebecca... Not, not that that oh, is a discussion on. for another day, unfortunately. Yeah. We have run out of time. That's, that's, that's the kind of... I'm sorry, that's the kind of prejudice and hypocrisy no, no, that allows... The statistics of No, that course. is not a it statistic. Is. I'm going to ask that you ladies to, to please pipe yeah. down. I'm sorry, it is a discussion for another day. It is a fascinating discussion for Father's Day, and we should all uh, celebrate that we've seen a reformed Kelvin McKenzie. Uh, you have witnessed something <laughs> very special today, everyone. <laughs> Fathers, mothers and mere offspring can join in that debate by logging on to bbc.co.uk slash the big questions and following the link to our message board.